fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the Night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, America's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shah of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othnir, the All Knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord.
twelfths by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight. Gaal Vinland, and Sage Frake, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Tokiwa, Sengokumbaki. Hinomoto Subete o Yaita Sengoku. いまだに勢い衰えず山深いアシナの国にも燃え広がっていた。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
国取りの決戦であった。心すらなくしたかああ共に来るか飢えた狼そして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった忍びの掟は忘れまいだ。親の次に大事なものお前の心に刻むがよいあれが今日からお前のあるか命を賭して守るたとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいなら狼よ一心の国取りから二十四年。アシナの国は斜陽にあり、狼の忍びはすべてを失っていた。育ての義父も、守るべき主も。忍びよ目覚めてくださいあなたの主のためにロトリング、where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge。In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Yon the 
Everything once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Flame. 
your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. Is your fate the fate of the cursed? In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side.
Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. First, you'll need a contract. You found yourself a hunter. <laughs> 